So it's fair to say Mercedes has started to make progress with its W13. The car has come more alive in the last couple of races and that's thanks to new upgrades put on the car in Silverstone, including updates to the floor to improve airflow and redeveloped elements of their front suspension. But while Silverstone is a better circuit for Mercedes due to its high speed layout and smooth track surface, the team will be pleasantly surprised that they had decent pace in Austria which should be a weaker track for the team due to having more low speed turns and being bumpier. While they weren't as strong there as what they were in Silverstone, it was largely down to both drivers crashing and qualifying. I mean Hamilton was on course to challenge for the front row but started way further back after hitting the barriers, and Russell ended up having to run an older spec rear wing for the rest of the weekend due to his incident. So there are encouraging signs for Mercedes. And what will be good news for the team is that they're set to bring an upgrade that could bring them even closer to Ferrari and Red Bull, while they could also have a strong chance of taking their first win of the season at the next race in France. But before we begin, if you enjoy the video make sure to leave a like, and also subscribe for more Formula 1 content, and you can also follow me on Twitter at James underscore Formula 1, and there'll be a link in the description. While the track is one of the smoothest circuits on the F1 calendar and it's made up of medium and high speed corners, so it's very similar to Silverstone in that respect, and we saw at that track that on merit Hamilton could have won the race had it not been for the safety car, such was his pace over the Ferraris during the race. And in Austria, if you look at Hamilton's race pace, it was pretty close to matching the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc, which will be encouraging news for the team. And whilst Russell hasn't really shown the same pace as Hamilton due to a string of incidents in the last couple of races, I'm sure that with a clean weekend he could match what Hamilton is currently doing in the W13. And team boss Toto Wolff said that even though Mercedes aren't quite on the pace of Ferrari and Red Bull, he said the team are getting closer and closer in terms of pace. He said, It's just that we are missing a few tenths here and there. I think we've halved the gap over the last few months. We better understand it but I would say that if I tried to pick the positives in race pace in Austria, if we would have, which we didn't, started right in the top six, probably we could have held on to Max Verstappen and not been so far away. And Mercedes' recent form has got Red Bull worried, with team boss Christian Horner admitting that Mercedes are starting to become a threat. Even though the team are more than 100 points away from Red Bull in the standings, Mercedes have by far been the most reliable of both Red Bull and Ferrari, which has allowed them to capitalise. And if the team continue on the path they're going, and if Red Bull and Ferrari continue to have issues, then there is still a slim chance the team could get themselves back into the championship. And Horner said he expects Mercedes to start showing even better form from France. He said, We'll expect them to be quick at Paul Ricard. They're showing flashes of being there or thereabouts. The last two races have been pretty decent for them and there's been no sign I think of any porpoising at all, so they seem to be slowly bringing themselves back into the game. Well it's to do with the power unit, earlier this year Mercedes struggled for straight line speed, but this was mainly due to their car being too draggy, and it's something the team has now got on top of. But still, while the power unit is still decent, it's not still quite as good as Ferrari or Red Bull. While the team made a step forward with its second specification power unit as introduced earlier, its use has been conservative to focus on reliability and consistency, and as I say, it isn't quite on par with the top two teams. But according to Formula 1 Uno, the team will introduce its Phase 3 power unit after the summer break, and it says this should include the introduction of a new hybrid part. It also states that this spec will allow the team to run at full power, bringing it much closer to Ferrari and Red Bull's engines. Now as we know a power unit freeze has been introduced this year, but it's something the team will have developed before the freeze was implemented. And even still, there is still some leeway to work on the power unit, this is because there are two deadlines. The first was in March, when manufacturers had to freeze the ICE, the turbo, the MGUH, the exhaust system, the fuel specification and the engine oil specification. But there is a second deadline in September for a specification upgrade to the control electronics, the energy store and the MGUK. And after that and from 2023 to 2025, there can be no further upgrades. So this phase 3 power unit that Mercedes have in store could really help the team. It's unclear how much horsepower it will give them, but it could be in the region of an extra 10 horsepower. But what do you think of the upgrade? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, take care, bye.